right, everybody, now we're back on the Samsung Galaxy tab because I want to take a look at books on a device. So let's start with the Kindle app. We've seen this before. It hasn't really changed since it's been released. But here we go. We got just some basic settings. Uh, you can have archived books, so they're not necessarily on your device yet, and you can download them later. Um, got some basic sorting settings and let's see here's how you actually buy a book so it fires up the browser and takes you to amazon oh the android browser still is not quick enough for me it kills me all right a uh, whole bunch of different ways to search let's just pop in some bestsellers and hit the first thing we see and then you can buy it with one click there so sign in pay you're good to go and it will show up immediately on your device now there's the girl with the dragon tattoo again same one that you saw on the uh, desktop app but look how quickly it flicks through on the tab here very nice no lag whatsoever which is really important when you're changing uh turning pages as much as you will be here you can see you can scrub through the book again zero lag does it very very quickly very nice i'm very happy with that you know i read all three millennium books on the galaxy tab here with the kindle lab um here you can change font size and get a whole bunch of it to sample so you can pick what you really want i like that that's nicely done sepia tone or white text on black background if you want and then you can change the brightness i usually leave it at about half and don't leave it on auto brightness so there you go now let's look at the google app so this is the ebooks app and there is the girl with the dragon tattoo that's the one that we bought and then you have three other uh, books that come for free so there's the girl with the dragon tattoo you saw us buy it in the other video you get sorting options again uh, let's see here's where you can manage books and delete them now if you pin them it will make them available offline that is important you're going to want to need to uh, do that at some point probably right especially if you're on an airplane or something and let's see what other settings we have nice okay I'll take that uh, you can manage syncing that's important and now let's actually look at the book there you go that's the book uh, scrolling is not quite as fast it's not bad but it's not quite as smooth as on the Kindle app I'll take it if you tap then uh, try that again then you have the option to scrub through the book and that's where it gets a tad laggy it's not bad right I mean it's not horrible but it's certainly not as quick as on the Kindle app we'd like to see that faster maybe that it just hasn't downloaded yet I'm not sure we'll have to uh, play with that a little more uh, let's see chapter 27 now see this is actually cool that is the page from the book you see how I can zoom in and out that is the scanned page that Google somebody at Google some poor intern scanned in so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in the video but it doesn't look quite right and that's why because it's scanned in let's go back to the actual book and you can see here the settings where you can change font size and you only get a couple lines to sample up there so it's not quite as nice as the Kindle app I think but you have three sizes. You actually have some different fonts to use. If you want sans serif, you can use sans serif. And then you got a couple entirely different font families. But I'm gonna go back to the serif font. This one I like. Uh, you can change the uh, line spacing. You can change the justification. And you can go to night mode, which will give you white text on black background. And then you have, eh, weird. Uh, and then you have brightness settings. Whoa, that's dark. Come on. That's bright. Somewhere in the middle where you can leave it on auto and it will stay with your system settings. So it's fast. It's not bad. I'd like to see the scrolling a little faster. Go back to the books. And there are your accounts. You can choose which account you want to work from. And again, we've already seen that, so you can pin them. Here's how you actually buy books on the app. And it's pretty much the same process as with the Kindle app. So you have a little online store. Uh, let's just pick a book here and say buy. Turn my brightness back up. And uh oh, I'm gonna have to uh, type in a password here. Be right back. Do -do 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 Okay, we're back. And log in. Mm 
And there we go. And then you can buy the book. I don't really want to buy this one, so we're not going to. And that's kind of that. So there is a quick look at ebooks from Google and Amazon Kindle, which we've seen before. I think the Kindle still wins right now. Ebooks aren't bad. I'm not sure what's going to make me use them over the Kindle, though. So we'll just have to see.